Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Round Reviews. Today we're looking at something a little different. We're looking at some software on my computer. So we're going to do this in dual screen. You'll have myself on one, and you'll see what I'm looking at on the computer screen on the other. The app we are looking at today is NetSpot Pro. As you can see here on the screen, it says that it is a Wi-Fi site survey analysis and good for troubleshooting. So basically, you're going to be able to open up this app. It's going to check all the Wi-Fi in the area around you and show you what is there, what's stronger, which is the one you should use, and how you can improve it. There's even a survey option, so we can go to different areas in the building and do a reading, and you can see where it's strong and weak and in what areas, so you can do your improving. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up the app. So first it starts with nothing and we're in discover mode. And as you see, it populated really fast. And over here is a list of all the Wi-Fi that it can see here in the building. Um, this one right here is mine and so is this. Um, this is free Wi-Fi that's out in the area from the cable company. And then all these other ones are Wi-Fi from other buildings in the area. So it shows you the SSID here. And then over here, it shows you what channel that it's using. And as you see, it's still populating as it's reading in more. You got the band, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. It shows you what security is being used or if it's open. Who's making that router? So it actually shows you the brand of the router, what modes it can use. You got your Bs, your Gs, your Ns, your ACs. It's all listed in here. And then you start getting your signal level. Uh, your decibel level, your minimum, your maximum, how much noise, and how long it was since it was last seen. Because obviously some Wi-Fi's are going to kick in and out as you're looking at them because of the quality of how far away they are. Uh, so this gives you a good amount of information about what's happening around you. So the next thing we can do is go into the survey area. This is where you can actually go to different areas in your building and see where the quality is. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new survey. We'll click on that. And over here, we can name it. We can tell it what kind of area it is. So we are in a closed office space or apartment. Um, the other choices are office with privacy walls, large open area, outdoor areas, and so on. We can draw the map, use a sample map, don't even worry about a map, or we can load one that we already have. So I actually have one, so I'm going to bring this in. We hit next, and you see that here it says change orientation or keep it. Um, I'm in portrait, it's probably wanting it in more of a landscape, so we're just going to rotate it. And there we go, it all fits in on the page. So this right here is a picture of my warehouse. This right here is the office where I am at right now. So we are going to calibrate this map. So the first thing we're going to do is tell it the distance. Now I've already got them written in here, but basically we can just click right here and then we can click right here and we can make it level. And then we come down here and we type in that it is 14 feet and then continue. We don't need to worry about doing this right now. So I'm just gonna hit continue. We're gonna do active scanning disabled. And then here is my map and it's ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell it where we are right now. Now I am sitting right here. So I am going to click here and this map is going to populate. So we're going to have to sit here and wait for it to go all the way around and hundred percent. So this is showing me where that Wi-Fi range is of me right now. And then over here on the left hand side, it's going to show you all of the Wi-Fi's that it can see. Now it's grouped this one Wi-Fi together because it's reading two different machines under that same name, two different routers. And then over here, these are all ungrouped as uh, separate routers. Um, once again, this one right here is me and this one right above it is me. So these two are in the building and the rest are out. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to take my laptop and we are going to walk to another area in the warehouse. So I'm gonna stand here by this back door and tell it that this is our next location. And now it's going to populate. And that one's done. So now you see a second green circle. So now we are going to walk to a third area. And we are going to take a third reading. And we have to wait for this now to populate. All right, so now you see it's created the three areas. So we can actually go and we can stop the scan. 
and now I'm going to go walk back into the office where we started. All right, so as you see up here, it's showing that PVFX is the one that's listed here on the 2G network. That's actually my Wi-Fi router, so it's showing you that this is the strongest one. Down here, it's showing the L5G also on the 2G. Um, that is a repeater that I have in here. Um, you can see that there's another one behind it, and if I click on it, you see that it actually became 5G because it's actually broadcasting on both. So it's showing the 5G and the 2.5G. So this right here is showing just a nice little triangle of the information of the area that we wanted to take the survey of in my uh, office here. Now if we come back over here, it's going to show you a lot more populations um, on this survey. So it's going to show you the cable Wi-Fi. It's actually hitting three different um, MAC addresses here. This uh, LSSI is showing two. The, the Spectrum Wi-Fi is showing three. Um, these are actually the same as the cable Wi-Fi that is broadcast both names, um, and so on and so forth. And you have some ungrouped ones here where it's just a single router address coming out, such as mine. So right now, it's showing you your signal-to-noise ratio, and that's what this is all showing in the green. So it's putting it right around 43 decibels. So you can actually come in here, and you can check other things. So here's just your signal level. It's going to rebuild the visualization. And you can start to see here that this is a little bit darker than this area. So when you look at the map down here, it's showing you the difference in the, um, the, the yellow, which is a little better, and the green, which is going down. You see your thumbs up and your thumbs down. So the higher to the red, the better. The lower to the blue, the weaker it is. So there's a lot of information. So you have a lot of this for the passive scanning, your signal to noise, signal level, signal to interference, quality of the access points, your noise level, your frequency band coverage, the mode coverage. Then you can check your download speeds, your upload speeds. There's a lot of information in here. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the frequency band coverage. So this right here is showing that it is mixed. Um, over here, it's just 2.G real strong, but then down here you got that both 5G and the 2.5G. We take a look at this one, and it's showing you in here that we are going up to in with our coverage that we're doing. All right, so if you notice down here, there's this other area of download speeds, upload speeds, wireless transmissions rates. Now this is for active scanning, which we did not choose. So basically, when you create your uh, survey before you go through and uh, start it, one of the choices, if you remember, there was a little check mark that said active scanning disabled or to run the active scanning. And so what you want to do is make sure you choose that to give you more details. So on here, what's nice is when you are done, you can hit export and it gives you a couple of different choices. We're just going to hit quick export right now and it's going to save to a directory and this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to show you all the information that was showing on the uh, top left corner here and what's nice is it also saves you the map so you can see the area that you are uh, testing. So this right here gives you all the information of the survey so you can actually um, know what it was and do comparisons later if you want to. So as you can see in my warehouse I have a very basic setup so the information, it was not amazingly full of what's going on around here, but it's also showing where I can actually place repeaters uh, where it's needed to boost up the signal in certain areas of the warehouse. But in my office, it was showing really strong, obviously, because this is where I'm at and this is where the router is. Um, if you take a look at the website here, it's going to show you here's an area where it's looking at a ginormous location with a whole bunch of routers everywhere and you can start seeing the color changes in here. So this this app here it's perfect for someone like me in an office where I need to have a good strong signal wherever I'm at in here or for someone that's actually working a large warehouse or outdoors uh, where you need to make sure you have coverage all across like at a hotel or in a city area. That's where NetSpot really comes in and shows you the power that's inside of it. Once again, this has been Monkey Round Reviews with the NetSpot Pro app. If you've used a Wi-Fi site survey app like this before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe.
Hmm? Yeah. 